Maggie Hardy and welcome to the party, my channel, my beauty space where we just love to have fun, try to. <laughs> so today for y'all, I have my current favorite drugstore products and I don't own a lot of them and I'm definitely trying to purchase more as I go and I'm trying, I've been more of a high-end kind of person, not really high-end, but you know, Sephora, Ulta, stuff like that. So I'm really trying to get into the drugstore products so what i have here today i'm going to show y'all that i really love and if y'all have anything that y'all would like to share with me or i must try go ahead and leave them down in the comment box because i'd really like some suggestions so today it is saturday so that means today is saturday shout outs so for today's saturday shout out i have a lady a girl named olivia Kennard. she is absolutely beautiful she's just gorgeous and her makeup is like literally on point when i talk to her she says that she loves the passion of makeup because it helps her express her creativity and her passion behind it she also has a youtube um, I will leave the links and everything down below so y'all definitely go check her out her accent is absolutely astonishing like I love watching her YouTube because her accent is just so adorable I just love it Olivia <laughs> I love your accent so much and like I said y'all go check her out she's a doll her Instagram is popping and if y'all want to see some great stuff go check her out and if you go check her out and you're not already friends with her let her know that i sent you that way we can kind of see if the saturday shout out things is kind of working like i say i do this because i want to give back to y'all and i want to show credit where the credit is due so also um i will re-put up a sign up on my instagram again tomorrow so y'all check that out and if you would like to be part of the saturday shout outs all you have to do is follow the rules put your at name in the comments on instagram and if you don't have that link it's also down below so without further ado let's just jump into these products so i can show y'all what i have okay so I have a few products. I really don't have any drugstore eyeshadow palettes. Um, what I consider drugstore would be like uh, Morphe, and that's really like all the drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I have. So if y'all have any recommendations on good and great eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, please let me know so I can check them out. I love to save a dollar. So everything that I have here today is under the price of $9 with the exception of two products. So the two products I will show you first. Like I said, um, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, like I take this palette everywhere, it's actually on my eyes right now. This is the Morphe 25B. It retails for $18. Like you get 25 beautiful shadows for $18. They also have a 25A, which is more of a warm tone. This is more of a cool tone kind of palette. I can't stress enough how much I love Morphe eyeshadows, especially for the reasonable price that they have. They're so blendable. I love them. Like y'all can't really see, but this palette is kind of destroyed on the inside. And so the other product that I have is $10. And after this, everything is literally between the range of nine to four dollars like you can't beat it and these products are amazing so the next palette that I have is the Koki powder contour palettes now this palette is absolutely stunning I always say that this palette is the dupe for the Kat Von D shade and light palette I will compare them for y'all um, for $10, you cannot beat this. Like, I reach for this more than I reach for this. So, if you want to save a dollar, and I believe, like, this is, like, 42 bucks, if not more than that. I'm not sure on the price. Don't get me wrong on that one. And this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So, let's hold these up next to each other. Okay. This is the Koki. This is the Shade and Light from Kat Von D. $10, almost $50. Y'all be the judge. Like, look how close those are. Like, they're so similar. Like, I love this palette. I, like I said, I reach for this palette more than I reach for this palette. And that 
is saying something and every time I go to Walmart to try to get and purchase another one they're always out of stock I don't know if you can get them online if you can I would definitely recommend that y'all get this because you can also use the lighter shades as a bronzer not necessarily to contour and also the banana shades and the setting powders that they have in here they're unreal like my favorite of all time drugstore finds is this one right here. Next, I have um, a foundation. I will, I'm definitely going to film uh, my top favorite foundations from the drugstore, but my absolute go-to, the one that I reach for the most is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. Y'all know I have very dry skin and I love my dewy foundation. I just, it hydrates my skin and I love it so much. And this shade right here, this is actually in the shade 220 Natural Beige, and it is like the perfect match for me. And the coverage is great. I love the stuff. The only thing I don't like is it has no pump. So what I usually do, if I wanna be fancy, is I'll get my Photo Focus foundation and I'll clean off the spatula and I'll get the spatula and dip it in there and do that. If not, I'll just plop it on my face like everybody else does. It's not really a big deal, but you know, if you have your nails done and you're sitting here digging into this stuff, it gets everywhere. Recommend, if you don't have it, go do it. They also have it in matte. So whatever your preference is, dewy, matte, they have both. And I really wanna try the powder to this. Like I, I have heard such great things about the powder and I wanna try it so bad. So I'm definitely gonna have, that is one thing that is on my list to go check out. For concealer. Uh, if y'all been watching my channel for a minute, y'all know how obsessed I am with the Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. This stuff kind of reminds me of the Naked, but it kind of gives me a little bit more coverage than the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. You guys, you get 0.24 ounces in here, which is a lot. This right here is $8, and I'm pretty positive that any like these more high-end concealers that you get are anywhere between 20 to $30, like $22, $24. Like I said, don't get me wrong on the prices, y'all. Goodness gracious, nobody's perfect. Y'all know we ain't perfect. For my sponge, Real Techniques. Uh, don't mind that it's dirty. It, I just used it this morning. So, yeah, I love this more than the Beauty Blender. Like it's absolutely, I don't know, you wet it and it's just, it gets so big and it's so moist and soft and fluffy and I love it. And I love how it has this carve out right here because when you go to carve out your cheeks or if you need to get on your nose, whatever you need it for, I love it. And then the point also for underneath your eyes for your concealer. This, you can get a pack of two, I believe for $12, $13. Okay, so while we're on the face products, I can't sit still, <laughs> I've been, ah, my anxiety really got the best of me today. Um, I'm not really a big sociable person. Um, I'm very shy and laid back. And like I told y'all before, when I go places and meet new people, I'm more observant and quiet than I am. Oh, oh hi, my name's Maggie, how you doing? Ha! Huh? Like, it's just my personality. I have a big anxiety social issue. So I actually had to get up and get dressed and go to my daughter's school and meet the other moms today. And I'm at home now and I feel so much more comfortable. I'm here with y'all. Y'all make me feel so much better. So, okay, besides my, besides my rant, sorry, whatever. Let's get back into it. <laughs> so crazy. Um, for face products, um, my favorite blush at the moment, like I reach for this blush all the time. This is the Milani blush. This one is a romantic rose. It is just the perfect, it's just the perfect shade. The flower. Milani, you did it. And favorite highlighters. Everyone loves good highlighters. So I'll definitely have to do another drugstore favorite highlighters for y'all because I do have quite a bit of them and they are actually outstanding. They really uphold to the higher brand highlighters and you know, you can't go wrong. If you can spend five bucks on a highlighter instead of $30, $40 on a highlighter, just for one highlighter, you get a good size pan. Like this Milani highlight is 
nine dollars compared to any other that you get from Ulta Sephora or wherever you shop. I know everyone has their preference of highlighters, but why not save a dollar? You know, everyone loves to save a dollar. So this Milani, this one is actually an 01 strobe light. Um, I actually have it on my skin now. All right, so for mascaras, there is millions and tons of drugstore mascaras out there. And um, I really think that it's more of a personal preference kind of thing. Um, because what works for me, you know, I always say it might not work for you, vice versa. It's more of a preference thing. But i am really been loving the Big Shot Colossal by Shayla. Um, these mascaras are amazing. Um, at first, I really didn't care for it. But like I said, the more you use it, the more you work it up and you get it moving in there and you work it up, the thicker the, consist the consistency gets and the better they work so i've been loving this i really want to try the new maybelline temptations mascara i've really heard some good things about that from the bigger gurus also so definitely have to check that out and i mean this is eight bucks so the other one has to be close to the eight nine dollar range like i said you can't beat it like you honestly can't beat it at all all right last but not least we just got a few more left so i'm just gonna keep loving my mouth telling you what i like like I said, I'm comfortable. Again, I'm with y'all. I'm here. I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm in the moment. Pay attention. I'm trying to pay attention. Okay, there's so many lipsticks out there right now in the drugstore, and they're so affordable. Um, for me, I've really been liking the Maybelline lipsticks. These are the matte lipsticks. Um, these are just a couple. I probably have like five or six of them. Uh, my weak spot is lipstick. And I will literally buy every color until I can't. And if I double up on a color, that's okay. I mean, you can never have too much lipstick. Never. Ever. And the other favorite lipsticks that I have, I just purchased these the other day when I have a haul that I did a couple weeks ago. Um, these are the Flower Beauty. So again, more nudes. Um, as always, never go wrong with a nude lip. Um, love them. They're so creamy. They stay um you know anytime you wear creamy lipstick actual lipstick not liquid lipstick you have to reapply it every so often but for me that's not a big deal um i love i'm old school okay i also have the flower beauty miracle matte lips like i ranted about these in my haul too because I actually have, which one is it? This one on right now. I love these, they're matte, they're liquid, but I love them. Like you can't, look at these colors, like, oh. Yes. And last but not least, I found a setting spray that I really enjoy. I like this one better this is the milani make it dewy like this stuff is just oh. this is i believe it's 9.99 8.99 in between eight nine dollars in that range somewhere and you get a whole 2.3 full fluid ounces y'all are gonna see me just let's just go for it the mist on this is just amazing. It smells like roses. It's just beautiful and it rehydrates your skin. It feels so good. And look how much of a difference that actually made. <laughs> like, dewy, more dewy than I already am. Dewy, dewy. So that is it. That is all that I have for y'all today. Like I said, if y'all have any recommendations on or want me to try something out, definitely let me know. Um, I get asked questions by people all the time about products and I'm on the look for products. So I'm specifically trying to help y'all of those that are asking me the questions. So if you have any questions, if you have any products you want me to test or try out, just please let me know and I will do my best to give y'all my opinion. And that's it. This wraps up the video. So, y'all, thanks for watching. Party is 
over. I mean, it don't have to be over, but technically in this space right here right now, if y'all want to continue at home, doing whatever y'all are doing, y'all do it, because it's just, let's do it. The hearty party, here we go. Oh, thank y'all. I'm sorry. I love y'all, and I will see y'all again soon. Thank you for watching. Have a very blessed day.